In this tutorial, we're going to look at the WHERE clause in SQL. So earlier I told you that we use the WHERE clause to filter data. For example, let's say we only want to get the customers with points greater than 3,000. So here in the WHERE clause, we can type out a condition like this, points greater than 3,000. When we execute this query, the query execution engine in MySQL is going to iterate over all the customers in the customers table. For each customer, it's going to evaluate this condition. If this condition is true, it will return that customer in the result set. So let's go ahead and execute this. And here's the result. As you can see, we have only two customers with points greater than 3000. So this is what we call the greater than operator, which is one of the comparison operators in SQL. Let me show you the complete list of comparison operators. So we have greater than, greater than, or equal to. We have less than, less than, or equal to. Here's the equality operator. And for not equality, we can use an exclamation followed by an equal sign or something like this. So both these are not equal operators. Let me show you a few examples of these operators. So I'm going to delete all this and bring back the previous query. Let's say we want to get only the customers in the state of Virginia. So we can change our condition to something like this, where state equals Virginia. Note that I've put Virginia in quotes because this is what we call a string. A string is a sequence of characters. So whenever you're dealing with a sequence of characters or basically textual data, you need to enclose your values with either single or double quotes. But quite often by convention, we use single quotes. So let's execute this query. And here's the result. You can see we only have these two customers with ID one and two who are located in Virginia. And it doesn't matter if we use uppercase or lowercase characters. So if we type out VA in lowercase and execute the query, we get the exact same result. Now, what if you want to get all the customers outside of the state of Virginia? We can use the not equal operator. So we can either prefix this with an exclamation or use this other notation. Either way, we get the same result. So these are the customers that are not located in Virginia. Now we can use this comparison operators with date values as well. For example, let's say we want to get only the customers born after January 1st, 1990. So we change our condition to birth date greater than, once again, we use quotes for representing date values, even though dates are actually not strings. But in the SQL language, we should enclose dates with quotes. So here we type out 1990-01 for January, dash zero one for date. So this is the standard or the default format for representing dates in MySQL. Four digits for the year, two digits for the month, and two digits for the day. So let's go ahead and execute this query. I actually made a mistake here. So we don't see the result. Instead, we see the action output or the output window. If you scroll to the bottom, you can see the details of the error. So here I used the wrong name for the column. We should separate these two words with an underscore. That is the name of our column. So let's execute the query one more time. So we only have three customers born after January 1st, 1990. So these were examples of comparison operators in SQL. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to combine multiple conditions when filtering data. All right, here's your exercise. I want you to write a query to get the orders that are placed this year. So look at the orders table, see what columns do we have there, and based on that, write the query with a WHERE clause. So here's the orders table. In this table, we have this column, order date. We can use this column to see the orders that are placed this year. So here's our query. Select star from orders, where order underline date is greater than or equal to January 1st, 2019, assuming this is the current year. So 2019, 01, 01. Now, since currently we are in the year 2019, this query will return all the orders placed this year. But next year, this query is not going to give us the right result. But don't worry about it. Later in the course, I will show you how to write a query to get the orders placed in the current year. 
So for the purpose of this exercise, this is a valid solution. Now let's execute this query and see what we get. So we have only one order, order ID one, that is placed in the current year. 